Here's part two of how to be fast in Figma. In this one, I'm gonna show you how I like to iterate really quickly on a design. We're not gonna cover components and the purpose here is to showcase how you can create lots of visual iterations without worrying too much about the little details and making sure that your design is scalable. Okay, so we're gonna be working with this screen here. It's a pretty common view where there's a list of objects. The first tip I'm gonna share is how to select a specific object that's within a bunch of different layers. So this shortcut is called command click. And so when you command click, you can target any single object within a large group. So for example, if I wanted to gray out this star here, I can do command click to select it. And then I can change the star to a gray color like this. Next, I'm gonna share how you can navigate through elements on the page really quickly without clicking anything. So right now I have the base frame selected. To open up the frame, I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. Notice how now these elements within the top level frame are selected. I can click tab like this to navigate through these elements. I'm pressing shift tab to navigate up, tab to navigate down. If I want to select the page, I can have the page selected and then hit enter again. And then I can do the same thing where I'm tabbing through the layers like this. And so this is a really quick way to navigate through Figma without having to click anything. It can be really fast and can really speed up your flow. The next thing I wanna share is how I typically go about changing the font across the entire page. So here I don't have any textiles because I'm still in the iteration phase. I want to be able to compare and contrast different visual styles side by side. And so here, this is my original one. And say I wanna change the font across the entire page to be a serif. So what I would do first is I would select this frame. And then what I do is I usually slam the enter key until I'm at the base layer. So notice how all my individual text elements are selected now. And you'll see that I'm currently using IBM Plex Sans, but maybe I wanna change everything to be IBM Plex Serif. And so notice how now all the fonts on the page are now IBM Plex Serif, and I can still see the design side by side because I have not attached them to textiles yet. Another color thing I use a lot is selection colors. So usually I don't tie my designs to fill styles until I'm further along in the process because I'm still in the iteration phase and I don't want to lock myself down to one color palette quite yet. And so what I would do is I'd select the selection here and notice how all the colors in my selection show up in the bottom right under selection colors. I go ahead and change my main color to purple like this. Each of my elements here is an auto layout group. And so one thing that I can do here is I can easily change the layout of each of these things by using the command click technique and holding shift to select multiple elements. So I'm gonna, again, show a duplicate on the right so that you can see the difference. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all these images to the right side. And right now, again, I don't have any components because I'm still in the iteration phase. So I'm gonna go ahead and command click the first one. Make sure to hold down shift and command while you're clicking all the other ones. If you don't hold down shift, your previous selection will get deselected. Then I'm gonna go ahead and press my right arrow key. And that is how I would try a different layout for these cards. You can also make a lot of quick changes using auto layout. So here I have all my cards selected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter like this so that all the individual cards are selected. I'm gonna change my auto layout direction to vertical layout like so. Then I'm going to select the images here. So the top three that I can see on the page. I'm gonna change the horizontal resizing to fill so the image fills the page. Then I'm going to change the height of the image to be a little taller like this. And notice how I've quickly created a new layout because I used auto layout for the original cards. The last technique I'll share is how I like to add a divider between every single card here. So a lot of people will add a line like this between every card, which is fine, but I prefer to add a stroke to the bottom of the card because that's likely how the engineers will implement it. And it also makes the design a little cleaner. So first I'm going to select all the cards like this, then hit enter to select all the cards within that selection. I'm gonna go ahead and add a stroke. And you notice right now it's really ugly because it's on every single side. I'm gonna change the stroke to be only stroke on the bottom. I'm also going to make the stroke less dark. And then I'm going to add some padding on the bottom of the card like this. And notice now how I have a stroke separating each card like so. And so this was really, really fast and I didn't have to touch any components or do anything special. If you like videos like this, please follow me for more Figma tips in the future.